Hello again guys and welcome back to the channel. This is the third time that I've attempted to film this video because it has been screwed up the previous two times by the A6500. But today we are going to be comparing the footage, if you hadn't guessed, of the Alpha 6300, the A6300, against the Sony A6500. Now I say the footage has been screwed up the last two times because something has happened along the way and spot focus has been turned on both times by hitting the touchscreen, presumably. So I had to flip the camera around there just to check to see if I'd accidentally hit it again, and luckily this time I have not. The main reason that I'm doing this video is just to compare the video quality, the sound quality and everything, between the A6300 and 6500 while moving to see if the biggest difference between these two cameras, IBIS, inbuilt stabilization, makes a difference in video mode, because I don't think that it's going to, from the testing that I've done, it does not appear to, but I bought both of the cameras, and before I return one or the other, I wanted to see if it made a difference. The majority of the comments so far have actually been, it's been back and forth. People telling me, well, the 6500 has so many more features, specifically the stabilization, that are so nice, the touchscreen is so amazing, blah, blah, blah. I have to say, at this point, just going back and forth between the two, I have not been quite convinced. Because as I was saying, the stabilization does not appear to be stabilizing that much more, if at all, than the 6300. And the touchscreen, the other sort of key difference between the two cameras, only seems to work in photo and video mode to set focus, does not appear to work in other modes. And that's something I was not aware of before buying it. So if you're trying to make your way through the menus and touch on different parts of the screen, the menu does have a pretty significantly different layout. And I kind of figured touching on parts of the menu to swap to different panels and stuff, that it doesn't do anything. So that kind of stinks, in my opinion. But what test would be complete? We're in lower lighting right now. Let's go ahead and do some better lighting tests outdoors and maybe some light wind testing. I don't have any microphones on these and I do have the wind reduction turned off on both of them. So if there's any wind that comes through, we'll definitely get a good test here. But here's a little sample of some video footage outdoors, moving around kind of slowly, trying to keep things framed up about as well as possible. I can see you looking at the back now that they're not quite the same, like the, the swing sits in slightly different place but they are using the same settings right now. It says 1 80th of a second, F11 and auto ISO, auto white balance and everything else. And there is a very light breeze that's coming in from behind me. So we will again go back and forth between the two just to see how the audio stacks up, how it works between the two. If there's any sort of wind issues, the A6300 does not do well in the wind. I've got a feeling the 6500 is exactly the same. So if you can hear me right now, then one or the other does work appropriately. But yeah, this was just a very quick test going back and forth between the A6300 6300 and the a6500 in a few different lighting setups and a few different scenarios walking around going downstairs as you can see going back up the stairs just to see if the stabilization does anything if there's any real difference in the quality because the image should look relatively similar they have the same sensor the same everything else the stabilization is the one thing i really wanted to test so now i consider it done let me know what you think about the quality differences if there are any about whether or not it's worth the additional three to four hundred dollars for the a6500 down in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel to receive all the videos I make as soon as they become available. Hit the little notification bell if you want to be notified when they come out and I'll see you again next time.